Hey guys, Kirk here. 2020 has been an interesting year, don't you think? The other day I went into my favorite Starbucks, the Starbucks I go to almost every day. And on the table, it had a little box. On the box, it said, what brings you joy? And they asked people to write down things they were joyful for. So that's my question today. What brings you joy? What are you grateful for in this season? When times prove difficult, such as the days we find ourselves in, only true authentic gratitude seems to shine through. Gratitude really is a mindset, a decision to focus your energy on the positives in life versus the negatives, a decision to be thankful for what one has versus always looking for more, a decision to focus on using your blessings, skills, and talents to improve the lives of others instead of lamenting that others have it better. That's true gratitude. Sometimes it's hard to see the good and the great that is out there and you have to kind of dig deep within yourself to be grateful for the things that are with you and in front of you. Just having, getting closer with loved ones, spending more time with my husband, with my daughter, uh, even seeing my sisters get closer to each other. It's just a nice feeling. Also having friendships that you're able to still get together while social distancing to kind of get through all of the tough times. When I think about gratitude and what gratitude really means to me this year, 2020 right now, I just think about slowing down. So I'm just, I'm grateful for a chance to look around me and realize I have so many things that I've truly been blessed with and so many things to be grateful for. And I'm so grateful for the amazing community that I'm lucky enough to be a part of. Our time during this pandemic has been at helping me see the important simple things that have always been around me. So for that, I have a lot of gratitude for 2020 and teaching me that valuable lesson of finding the simple things. I'm grateful that I work with the most caring, hardworking, dedicated group of men and women that there, that there are um, and the ability to serve the greatest community of deserving dentists out there. I'm grateful for my family, for my friends, for my dog Charlie. I'm grateful to be a part of the ACT Dental community. I love being uh, involved in some small way of making people's lives better and I love being surrounded by people who have made dentistry a passion in their lives. A lot to be thankful for. A lot to be grateful for. A lot of I get to's. I get to wake up every day and come up the stairs to this really cool office and talk to people that I really enjoy. So I'm thankful for the slowdown and I'm thankful for all we have, not only for the things that we lost. This has been a banana grams of a year, so there's a lot of, a lot of things to be thankful and grateful for. So I am really, really grateful for spandex. I am super grateful that Netflix is available. I'm super duper grateful that there is drive up grocery shopping. I am grateful that there is Chardonnay in this world. And all kidding aside, I'm, I'm really grateful and thankful for my wonderful family. I wanted to just take a second and express my gratitude in 2020 and being able to really embrace the pause. Um, I think the pandemic allowed me to, you know, slow down and think about things in a new way. Um, it really allowed me to embrace the people around me and live in the moment. And professionally, it allowed me to bring new ideas to my teams. Um, it gave me the time to think through processes. And I think it really forced us to make improvements that were pending. 2020 has been an interesting year, wouldn't you say? This week marks an important holiday. It's called Thanksgiving. Some of us will be visiting family, many of us won't. It's still a great opportunity to pause and say, what am I grateful for? What brings you joy? So that's my question this week. What are you grateful for? What brings you joy? I'll tell you what brings me joy. Number one, it's my amazing wife. Number two, my incredible family. Number three, my unbelievable team. I'm surrounded by an awesome group of people and they make the work so much fun. I couldn't do any of it without these amazing people. I'm also grateful for our fantastic clients. That 
in itself makes the work fun. I'm grateful for our success partners. I'm grateful for my health. So that's my question this week. What are you grateful for? Take a few minutes and let them know. So from all of us to all of you, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. What am I grateful for? These amazing blessings. Oh, and by the way, sixth grade Little League champs, assistant coach. <laughs>